become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'd like to talk about the amazing Bronze Era strongman Milo Brin, known as the Cannonball King. This Italian all-time strongman was one of the greatest Herculean athletes of the last century. Capable of juggling cannonballs and with the uncanny ability to balance incredibly heavy and awkward objects on his chin due to his amazing strength of his neck. Many of his incredible acts of strength and skills have not been repeated since. Here is probably his most spectacular stunt of all with a 600 pound cannon gun balancing on his chin whilst it's being fired. You can actually see the smoke. It is incredible. This guy was a maniac. He was insane. And I really want to talk to uh, talk about him today and pay tribute to this amazing all-time strongman. Born Luigi Borra in Milan, January 14th of 1866, he would um, spend his early youth learning acrobatics, gymnastics, and become very adept at wrestling and as, as well as weightlifting as um, many of these strongmen would back then. This was a very typical profile they were all-round athletes. And like many other strongmen, Luigi joined a circus at the age of 23 and later performed for the Follies Bergere, I'm, I'm hoping I said that right, as a wrestler and later as a strongman. His act actually included tumbling, hand balancing and juggling cannonballs, hence where his, ca uh, where his name came, the um, Cannonball King. And of course, he would also do some poses and for his grand finale, he would actually shuffle around the stage with almost half a ton of weight on his shoulders. I mean, he wasn't walking, but he was shuffling. Even though doing such a, uh, um, a support, heavy support act on your shoulders, shuffling around half a ton is pretty incredible. Now, after changing his name to Milo Brin, he actually grew tired of his previous act, believe it or not, <laughs> with cannonballs and, and shuffling around half a ton, and moved on to balancing artillery instead. So he hasn't he wasn't satisfied with the uh, with the ammunition, he just went to artillery. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. And he created a sensational act where he would balance stuff on his chin. For example, here we can see he's balancing a motorcycle and it is being fired. Right, because it's got a machine gun fixed on it um, with, with a rider on top. So we're talking quite a lot of weight here, right? The total uh, weight actually being around 550 pounds. And, and as I said, to top it all off, the grand finale, the rider would fire off several rounds on the motorcycle. It's just really, really crazy. You can clearly see he's actually balancing the whole weight on his chin. It's, it's just insane. Later on, Milo's act, entitled Pastimes on a Battleship, toured Europe, America, and Australia, and he, and he grew a lot of fame, and toured up to the year about, I think it was uh, 1911. His specialty, of course, was his ability to balance heavy objects on his chin, such as his spectacular feat of balancing a small cannon or field gun weighing 600 pounds on his chin. And what's even more amazing, and I'll repeat it again, is that if you look at the picture very, very carefully, you can see that the gun is being fired. You can see the smoke coming out. It's just in, it's just amazing. Wow. I mean, every time I see this photo, it's just incredible. Uh, this guy was truly, truly uh, crazy. And um, here's another great show to, uh, sorry, a photo, show to, photo of, um, I guess he's now balancing, uh, or appears to be a Navy man, also firing a machine gun on a platform, which is all placed on his chin. I mean, this guy, you can see the thickness of his neck in this um, in this photo on the center. This guy was truly strong. I mean, you can see his shoulders, arms, a really strong man. And of course, <laughs> insane strength in his neck and in his chin. Now, if you have any insane ambitions to become like a bronze era all-time strong man, then I highly recommend purchasing some bronze era material from my website goldenerabookworm.com where you can find 
uh, many titles, especially from Eugene Sandow, which include how to perform certain feats of strength. It's pretty interesting information nonetheless, available at www.goldenerabookworm.com. Now, after all his success, of course, Milo Brin eventually retired, but he continued being strong and physically active throughout his entire life and eventually passed away in 1955 after his 89th birthday. Lived a wonderful life. Here is a great shot of him. You can see he was a very, very strong man. A true legend, a true all-time strong man, and I hope you have enjoyed this tribute to Milo Brin, the Cannonball King. Amazing man, amazing. If you've enjoyed watching the video, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. Leave me a comment and thank you for watching. If you'd like to support my work, please donate via PayPal or become a patron. You can also purchase old school bodybuilding courses and books on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com. And if you'd like to pass on any of your books or magazines from your collection, um, I'm always uh, open to that. Of course, you can uh, contact me via email. I'd very much appreciate that. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video and this tribute to Milo Brin, the Cannonball King. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now. Hi everybody, I just want to recommend this phenomenal book, Vince's Secret Locker, volume number two by Carl Coyne. I've been looking at this for about four weeks and I can't put it down. If you get a chance, check it out. He also has a part one that I, I highly recommend also. Uh, Vince was the trainer of the stars and had an amazing, interesting gym that today there's still on equipment like, uh, like it around. It was all made out of wood. Uh, he'll be on our radio show coming up probably in the next couple weeks or so. Have a great day and again, highly recommend this book.